class or for your homework today. So in this one, you have y equals ax plus b. Or I'm sorry, you have a quadratic. And the reason why it's a quadratic is, again, because we have that x raised to the second power. All right? That tells us we're dealing with a quadratic. So the standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. All right? So the first thing I want you guys to do is just identify what is your a, your b, and your c. That's it. It's really easy. Okay? So if you have trouble, that's the first thing I'm going to ask you. What's your a, b, and c? The next thing is to identify the axis of symmetry. So to identify the axis of symmetry, and remember that is just x equals opposite of b divided by 2a. So my b is negative 8, so the opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. And then that's 2 times a. Well, a is 2, so that's going to be 2 times 2. Actually, let's do this opposite of negative 8. So therefore, that gives me 8 over 4, which leaves me with 2. OK? Now, to find the vertex, all right, remember I have 2 as my x-coordinate, but I don't know my y-coordinate. So to find my y-coordinate, I'm going to plug 2 in for x into that equation. So I have y equals 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 minus 2. A lot of 2's. But do you guys see what I did? I took the x coordinate of my vertex and I plugged it into my equation to find y. Does that make a little more sense, Matt, what I did? I know it's kind of hard without like numbers. So now I have y equals 2 squared is 4, which is going to be 4 times 2 is 8 minus 16 minus 2. So 8 minus 16 is negative 8, minus 2 is negative 10. So therefore, now I know what my y-coordinate is. So it's 2 comma negative 10. Any questions on that? So now I have the vertex and the axis symmetry. I'm not done graphing yet. I'm not done. I still got to graph it. So my Vert axis symmetry is x equals 2. So I go over to 2, and I draw my dashed line. OK? The next point, the next thing is now identifying the vertex. Well, the vertex is at 2, negative 10. So I go over 2, down 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So everybody understand what I've done so far. OK. So here's my x and my y. I already know one point, which is 2, negative 10. Now the next thing that I want to do is identify what should be some points to the right or to the left. So anybody want to offer their suggestions? Should I choose points to the left or to the right? To the right. Any reason, or are you just guessing? Or are you just saying to the right? OK. Now, what I, my recommendation is to always like, choose points that are going to be smaller. That the, the smaller, the better. So if you choose points to the right, then you're dealing with 3 and 4, which, yeah, it's not really that hard, right? But it's probably easier to plug in points 1 and 0, though, right? So if I was doing this problem, I would choose, or which I am going to do the problem, I would choose points 1 and 0. So I'm going to choose points to the left because I'd much rather evaluate for the, for the easier, simpler. So now, if I know x equals 1, what is the y coordinate? Well, to figure that out, you just plug in 1. So now, 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So actually, let's just do this. So 2 minus 8 minus 2. 2 minus 8 is negative 6, minus 2 is negative 8. Do you guys follow me? <laughs> then the last one is let's do 0. And that one equals negative 2. 
So, again, I'll kind of recap so far. You give your equation. You find A, B, and C. Then you find the axis symmetry. Then you find the vertex. Then you choose two points to the left or to the right. You evaluate for them, and you plot them. So we have 1, negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have 0, negative 2, 1, 2. So now I have half of my graph. So to find the other half of my graph, I need to reflect these over. So you can see this is two away from the axis symmetry. So I need to go another two more over to get that one. This is one away from the axis symmetry, so I go one the other way. And now I've graphed it.